Hey guys, this is Warren with KL Gadget TV and what we are checking out today is the YOLO box by YOLO Live, which is this little screen over here or should we even just call it a box? Because this is a streaming box that actually lets you use your DSLR or mirrorless camera to live stream to multiple platforms such as Facebook, Twitch, YouTube and other RTMP sources. Now, what's really cool about this device over here is that it accepts multiple inputs. It also supports 4G LTE on top of Wi-Fi and RJ45 connections. And it is a pretty cool thing on what you can do here. Now, why would you actually need a device like this is because when you are a person that's serious about live streaming, you really do not want to use your phone even though it is the most convenient thing in the whole wide world. But imagine if you have phone calls coming or you have any annoying notifications that pop up during your live streaming, it just gets pretty annoying. And worse still, smartphones tend to overheat when you're shooting under weather like Malaysia weather and it just tend to disrupt your live streaming sometimes. Which is why the Yellow Box is created for those who are really serious about live streaming, whether it is in the studio or you're on the go. Now, let's talk about a couple of features that it has here. Now, on the top here, we have two HDMI inputs, so it supports multiple sources. As long as your device has an HDMI out, it will be able to input its source into the YOLO box. Now, you have a USB 3.0 port over here, an HDMI out to a external monitor. If you want to monitor your footage in a bigger screen, you have an RJ45 port on the top, audio in, USB-C that supports quick charge 3.0 fast charging. At the bottom, you get an audio out and you get a micro SIM tray. I mean, yeah, it's, it should be a nano SIM tray, but you know what, it's still fine. You're, you're probably just going to sign up for a, a separate data card and just put a micro SIM just inside. And finally, you get an SD card slot. Now, this SD card slot not only offers storage to this device, but you also get to have all your image assets, watermarks are imported into this device. So what you're seeing here is a really beautiful 7-inch full HD display that looks great even under harsh sunlight. This is the interface of the YOLO box and it is based on Android, of course. If you look at the interface, the buttons, the icons, you know it is running on Android. Now, of course, you do get to the settings, which is uh, through this human icon over here, this profile icon, you can get, you can connect to your various social platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitter that's coming soon and Twitch is now disabled because I do not have a Twitch account. So I do live stream over there. And these are all the settings that the YOLO box has right here. Now let's get back to the um, live stream screen. Now to create a live stream on either of these platforms, you just simply tap the add button. So here are a couple of live streams that I've actually created, but we're just going to create one for you to see. All right, so we are going to create a test live stream. Test, let's say test number two because we already have a test and tap on OK and tap Create. Now, what this is going to do, it is going to create a live stream session right over here. As you can see, there are several of them. Now, this is a really cool feature that I like if you're someone that has multiple live streams going on, you can really pre-configure them on this home screen. So now let's go into the test two screen. This is how the interface looks like. It looks pretty simple, right? So you get to adjust your volume from multiple input sources. As you can see, you can either adjust volume from HDMI one to USB or even uh, the line in source. Now let's go back and you also have the record button to just record the stream. And uh, let's just tap on it. So it can, you can just start recording onto your SD card without even going live if you actually want that to happen. Now, you also have a switch. You can switch between picture-in-picture -picture mode or just a single picture mode if you have multiple input sources. Now, what's really cool about the YOLO Boxes software is that it can store multiple watermark templates according to whatever live stream modes that you want to. So all you need to do is to tap on this watermark button over here. So I've actually saved a couple of watermark templates inside. And if I want to have one of my templates set inside the stream, all I need to do is to just tap on it and it just shows up right over here. So I can actually resize my icons or watermark if I ever want to. So I just simply tap on it and there's this place where I can move. I'm just gonna move it over here and I'm gonna resize it. You see that? Simply resize this already. Pretty simple and straightforward. That's pretty cool. Let's just put it right over here. Now you can create watermarks pretty easily by tapping on the watermark template. Now just let's tap on here and you can create three types of watermarks. You can either do a scoreboard if you're 
uh, shooting some competitions or whatever, you can just tap on the scoreboard and you can set your event name, your home team name, and your away team name. That's kind of pretty standard if you are filming a like a basketball competition or a football match or something, right? Then you have uh, rolling captions as well. This is good for advertising. So if you want to tap, if you want to type in some messages like, oh, buy this or, or ask people to call that number, you can actually input text right over here. It supports multiple languages. You can configure them all in the settings of the YOLO box. All right, so once you're done with all the settings on the YOLO box software, all you need to do is to swipe right from the left here where it will reveal a couple of streaming platforms that you have signed into. And I'm gonna tap on Facebook right here. And once I tap on that, I can actually choose whether I want to go into my personal profile or to post in a group or a page that I own. And I can even set my privacy settings because I'm gonna set this as private because we don't wanna cause any chaos when I'm live streaming out there. So let's just tap on OK. And next, we are gonna hit that red record button right now. Okay guys, so I'm actually now um, streaming over my Sony A7S. This is actually quite incredible. So it's like really the first time that I'm doing a live stream using a mirrorless camera over a live streaming device like the YOLO box. It's actually pretty cool. So, um, I'm looking at the image quality over here, so it is uploading now at a bit rate of 4.7 megabits per second. That's definitely clear enough for a good live stream quality. I hope it looks good on the end because on the other end, I'm actually having an iPhone screen record this entire live stream on Facebook. So let me know how it looks like guys in the comment section down below. So that's it for the live stream and we'll talk to you soon. So there you have it. This is how easy it is to live stream on your DSLR or mirrorless camera with the help of the YOLO box. Now, the one thing that I find when I use the YOLO box on my A7S is that it becomes really, really heavy because the device itself is really quite a hefty device. So you just got to get used to it and everything will be just fine. And in terms of battery life, I did test out over the past few weeks. Um, one charge will last you about two hours more or less and your camera will probably die faster than this device so you got to make sure that you have enough spare batteries or you're just going to use a ac dummy battery on your camera if you want the live stream to go on now this thing will cost you about 4500 ringgit in malaysia and if you are buying over amazon it will cost you 1099 us dollars which in my opinion it's really not too expensive if you're someone who usually needs to do live stream on the go because as compared to the conventional solutions that we know, you gotta spend way more money to buy those wireless transmitters and you need a computer over there to do all the connection stuff. And this thing just does it all in one single device. That's pretty awesome. So that's pretty much on my review and a quick look at the YOLO box by YOLO Live. Do let me know your questions in the comment section down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech videos coming right up. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I will see you in our next video.